we're going to start off with a really simple activity, the Coke bottle, and finding out how much information we can get about um, Coca-Cola from this Coke bottle. I noticed that the shape is made to, to feel good as you're holding it. I noticed that it's made out of glass, so um, it could be recycled. The Coke bottle, we were thinking about incorporating into our daily like morning meeting routine, where that's kind of the activity, and they pass an object and really have to think about what they're noticing, why they're noticing that, and how it's used, and the function and design of it. There's another image on here. There's an image of a Coke bottle printed on the Coke bottle. Maybe that's something to do with like scanning or something. Yeah, going on this on this shape of it, it's uh, it kind of you know seeing that it comes out of the you know, kind of the fifties ish time. It's kind of got an hourglass shape of a a, a slender woman's body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whether that was, in, you know, implicit or not. It, okay. It, so why, why, I'm sure it was why do you think? If, <laughs> let, let's just go with that. Can so I ask? Can I tell why? Because that was. This fun. was a joint thing. Okay. Joint thing. <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think they might have made use that shape, that hourglass shape? I think it's advertising. Because if I drink it, I'm going to be. I'm going to look like Barbie. Okay. <laughs> it has a, a date on it, 11 February 12. So I'm assuming this either expiration date or? If that is the expiration date, what do we think about that? That it expires um, next year, <laughs> like eight months from now. <laughs> Lots of preservatives. Did okay. it has an, an expiration date though at all. Would <laughs> right. okay. Better than if it doesn't. <laughs> we talked a lot about visual literacy today and trying to incorporate that in a meaningful way in, in the classroom is my hope. You know, I've been writing down how she's been teaching us because that's something that she's modeling for us. I don't know if she knows that, but <laughs> she is. It's from Mexico. Okay, it was made in Mexico. Okay, what, so what, what does that tell us? I think sometimes we can just get so caught up in the day-to-day -day things that we don't take the time to look at the outside of a building or just see what's, what does this tell us? What does this mean? Uh, Taking the time to just slow down and observe and analyze. That's something that I've learned. I noticed the, the label that it's like, it's red and the um, the way that Coca-Cola is written, it kind of looks like a ribbon almost. Like okay. A script and the, it's like a repeating sound. It's like a catchy sound, Coca-Cola. It's like the same words. Okay, so I wanted to point out that it took us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people to get to the logo that's written on it. Because that's something that we expect to see, so we don't really think about it very often. I have some discs that I'll give you at the end of the day in electronic form so you can use it again if you want to. And it's got the re reason about behind some of the design parts. They did go for the, um, the, curvy, the curvy bottle on purpose for both easy gripping and um, attractiveness because it looked like a woman and the red and white because it was bold colors. So there's a reason behind even the smallest details of a Coke bottle. And the same thing goes with buildings. Even the smallest detail in a building has importance and has meaning.